Let's go through how to set preferences inside Maya. Go under Window, Set in Preferences, and click on Preferences. Window pops up, and here we can set various preferences inside Maya. We can go through and set up Interface, we can go through Display Preferences, uh, go into Settings, we can go through Animation, uh, Selection, Snapping, etc. So going through some of these, we can go through the interface and set up how our Maya starts with which menu set, turn on or off some of these menus. Uh, in Under user interface elements we can switch on and off some of the uh, UI elements. Under display here we can set up how we see Maya. Uh, we can turn off our background gradient if you are more used to the old version of Maya. And going down under settings, let's go and go under selection. And here, one of the most often asked questions is how to turn on polygon selection. Uh, so here, under selection, polygon selection, you have select faces with the center or whole face. Uh, so depending on how you like to work, you can select whole face or center. And to give you an example, let me create a cube. I'm going to go under create cube. I'm just going to draw something simple and go into the component mode and don't worry what I'm doing right now I'm just going to show you exactly uh, what those selection center on whole face mean so here by default we have selection of our faces set to whole so we can select our face based on anywhere we click our mouse and select that face if we go under back to preferences and go back to selection and set this to center Click save. Now we can only select our faces based on their little center point that we see here. Oftentimes uh, you may want to use one or the other depending on the type of workflow, but uh, that is very easy to set by going under Window, Setting Preferences, and under Selection. Another very useful tool that we will need to turn on is Polycount Heads Up Display. So in our viewport, we will be able to see on the top left hand side how many polygons, triangles, and vertices that we're working with in the scene. And it's very useful for when you are modeling your environments. So to turn that on, go to Display, Heads Up Display. And here we want to turn on Poly Count. And here we can see that our verts, edges, faces, tries, and UVs count show up. We can also go back to Heads Up Display and click on this little icon, which is the Option menu. And you, you will notice that a lot of these menus have a little square cube on the side. That means there's an option menu for that specific function. So let's go back and to display and let's click on the options menu and here we can set that if we want our poly count to count just the cage which is the low res or the smooth mesh preview. Now let's maximize our working area. Let's turn off some of these UI elements that we do not need for uh, modeling game environments. If you head up to display and UI elements, you can turn on and off some of these elements inside the user interface. So let's turn off time slider. We don't need that. Go back up to UI elements. We can turn off range slider. So turn off some of these animation elements that we are not using for modeling. We can also do the same thing by going up to window and going under setting preferences and under UI elements we can do the same thing in here. This gives us a little more options to exactly what we want to set, such as save panel layouts with the file and uh, restore saved layouts from the file. And if by accident you somehow turn off some of these elements, such as this channel layer box editor, somehow you turn this off, or some of these other elements get turned off and you don't know what happened, too easily to turn them back on, you can go to preferences and turn them back on, or just simply go back up to display and turn on the elements that disappeared.